I, dude, I just super don't care about this drama. Oh my god, I don't care. The more I, th the more I thought about it, and then I ran it by two normie friends, and I just, like, I just... God, I don't care. God. God. Ah, I just... <sighs> Absolutely don't give a f Let's talk about Atrioc. Let's. Normally when I make a mogul mail, it's a pretty simple process. I just find a topic I'm interested in, I do research on the topic, and I give my take. That's it. Uh, but for the first time ever, I felt pressure to make this video. It hasn't even been 48 hours since Atrioc, one of my friends, was revealed on stream alt tabbing, which exposed that he paid for a deep fake website of streamers, of his coworkers, of pretty much every woman you can think of on Twitch or YouTube, my girlfriend included. Now, he did say in his apology that, you know, it was a video of someone he didn't know in real life, but I don't really think the nuance matters. Some people were mad at me in my DMs and they tweeted at me that I've taken so long to make this video, but I hope you get that I prioritized being a boyfriend to, to my girlfriend, who's had a very past couple of days, over being like mogul mail guy. I, okay, I don't care. I'll take all the heat and all the L's or whatever the f this f Like, it's just cringe. I had to prioritize. I'm not trying to burn a lot of a bridge, but like, bro, people made a website where they defake. It was pretty gross, kind of creepy, but like, bro, does she need like emotional support through these like trying times? Are we being serious right now? Cutie wasn't even on the link page. Like, the self insert is so hard. Like, why the? I just is so cringe. It's so cringe. Please. Oh my god. Um, but then when I sat down to think of like, okay, what am I supposed to say here? What is my take? It didn't feel like there was any other take to have than the one being expressed by all the women online. Oh my god, it's uh, it's like every cringe point. Believe all listen to their vo Oh my god. Okay, it's all right. Oh. So rather than tell you a random dude's opinion all th on all this, <laughs> I figured I would just show you some of the tweets that I thought were poignant and powerful uh, and read them together. She claimed it's exacerbating her dysmorphia? <laughs> why, why are you looking? Why are you looking? Just don't look! Don't go to the page! Don't look at it! Just don't look at it! She did say people were sending it to her. Does she go through every DM in her mystery box? Or... Do, I, I don't know, I thought... Aren't these the streamers that say they get, like, death threats all the time? Now they're telling me that they, they pour through every single DM they get on Instagram, on Twitter, on... Just don't look! Starting with Pokey, who said, Stop sexualizing people without their consent. That's it. That's the tweet. That's not even a good tweet! You can- that's a dog tweet! People are gonna sexualize anybody, that's not the problem. The problem isn't sexualizing people, the problem is when you objectify people. The problem is when you act creepy towards people. There's no problem with sexualizing. You don't wanna f*** off to some person because you think they're a hot streamer. F knock yourself out, who the f*** cares? It's not even a good tweet! There's nothing insightful, there's nothing nuanced, there's nothing that's like- that's new, there's no novel, like, it's just- It's just- it's just farming. It's selfless farming which I don't really even understand, but you would have a different opinion. If someone doesn't want to be sexualized and they don't consent to it, they shouldn't be sexualized. Next tweet was from- You don't have to consent to things that are happening in other people's minds. <laughs> Bro, we, we're not here to mind police you. Ray, who said it should be illegal to profit off of somebody's likeness in sex work without consent, whether it's fake or not. Talking about it will bring those sites more attention, but I hope this helps uh, take a step forward in the right direction so that uh, law can be made to protect people from being used in this way. Which I think that's a good point. Profiting, the profiting part is pretty shit. Profiting up somebody else's image and likeness for, that's pretty shit. Sure, that's fair. Is a good point. Not only are these women not consenting, somebody is profiting off of them. And they're not consenting. Crazy. And to the second point Crazy. about how it'd bring more attention, I feel a bit better about making this video now because the creator of this website took down the website. To be clear, he's still a weird, creepy piece of but the website at least was taken down, so no one can, from this video, 
try to see what all uh, was was going on there. Uh, next tweet is from Sweet Anita, who said, This story was how I found out that I'm on this website. I literally choose to pass up millions by not going into sex work, and some random Cheeto-encrusted porn addict solicits my body without my consent instead. Don't know whether to cry, break stuff, or laugh at this point. Uh, and I think, honestly, that's one of the biggest f***-ups Atrioc did. Like, it, it is a f***-up and a severe lapse in judgment to not only go to this website, but pay for this website. But then leaking it on stream caused a whole new world of harm. Because so many new people were exposed to this idea and then went out to seek what this idea was. To seek deep fake. Not only that, a bunch of women, because this was leaked, found out they were on the website. And if you don't know, my girlfriend and many other women pay sometimes thousands, tens of thousands of dollars a month just to make sure that, like, random photos of them being sexualized are not on the internet. They tens of thousands of dollars a month? Aren't there, like, automated services that you can pay a couple hundred bucks to sign up to that automatically scrub that from the internet? Tens of... Th I'm pretty sure Melina has a guy that does it to her for, for, for free. Or she pays him with, like, a few hundred dollars. Tens of thousands? That sounds like blackmail, chief. Tens of thousands? Okay. They, they, they pay money, which is not part of their job description, just so that it doesn't exist. And it's a lot different, by the way, because I've seen this take float around. If it's a woman being sexualized, then a man. And I think you can probably understand, like, how that was created over the past couple of centuries of, of, of humanity, where, you know, my being leaked is a funny thing, and then a woman's being leaked leads to, like, you know, a bunch of teenage kids, acne-faced kids, off. I, I think you can probably understand that. How is that even that much worse? I reject this. I don't buy this. I'm, go I'm fighting hard against this. You know why I thought about this? Here's why I thought about this, okay? My got leaked 10 years ago, and it wasn't a- it was a whatever. Who cares? If my dick would've been 4 inches or 3 inches long, I bet that picture would be linked under every single thing I ever talk about until the day that I die. I guarantee you that if I had a tiny dick, that would've been leaked everywhere. Is it the worst thing in the world that people are m***ing about you online? It's like, is that actually f***ing your head up that hard? That people are- that people are d***ing off? Because they've seen pictures- who the f cares? If people are treating you in any way, that's f I can understand that. I can understand that. If people are treating you horribly, typing creepy messages in your chat, sending you shitty DMs, talking about you wearing a polar hair, that's bullshit. I can understand that. But who the f cares? Who the f cares? I think this is some- I think it's a- I think it's an insecurity thing. That's what I think. Bite me. Uh, get mad. Uh, I think that- I think that the extreme reaction, and I'll say this a million times, even though it doesn't matter, people say, Oh, Destiny thinks you can't be upset at all. It's fine to be, like, uh, upset or annoyed. But I think the extreme reaction is because I think that this has more to do with people's sexual insecurities than any sort of, like, rooted stance of, like, it's wrong to objectify, blah, 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 blah. I think it just has to do with the insecurity thing. That's where I, that's my, that's my position on this. For people to have this, like, this di disproportionate level of response. Studio said a good point, something that most people wouldn't have perspective on. The amount of body dysmorphia I've experienced since seeing these photos has ruined me. It's not as simple as just being violated. It's much more than that. Violated? Violated? It's not even your body. It's your face. Violated? Because at the end of the day, it's a deep fake. It's not you, but also it's what this person who made the AI deepfake is like- I, like, I- um, I'll throw this into the ether, and I could be wrong. I feel like the reaction to this is worse than if actual nudes leaked. I think that if there was actually a site that had nudes of a couple big streamers and he was looking at that and people found out, I think the reaction to this is worse than actual nudes leaking. That's how, like, that's how insane this is to me. I Projecting on you, but it's not, it, it's weird. It's weird. Like, people have had nude leaks before. Has there ever been a response like this? 
Well, yeah, it's pretty scary that no matter what you do, a point of view can be created. What do you mean by scary? What do you mean by scary? Brooke said, seeing some awful takes regarding this deep fake situation. We're all real humans with real lives that are affected by situations like these. It goes much further than it's not real. Please have some compassion and think beyond it's not affecting you in any way. Streamers are people. Streamers are, are they, they are humans. And I feel like Barely. sometimes uh, they get treated uh, like actors were treated uh, like a decade or two ago. Where uh, they're not people, they're, they're, they're the mega rich actor, you know, fake George Clooney or, or Jennifer Lawrence or whatever. But, but streamers are so much easier to access, one, so it's much easier to hurt them. And, and, and two, so many more of them. And, and they are not all rich famous. There's, some are just doing it as the only job that they like and can do. And, and there's not a lot of humanity in the interactions that I see with streamers. Maya had a really powerful um, screenshot tweet here that said, In 2018, I was inebriated at a party and I was used for a man's sexual gratification without my consent. Uh, today, I've been used by hundreds of men for sexual gratification, probably thousands, without my consent. The world calls my 28 experience, uh, 2018 experience rape. Uh, the world is debating over the validity. Bro, Destiny, want to get canceled? What do you mean it's only her face? Then verbal abuse is also not so bad by your logic. That's why I don't read YouTube chat. You see what you guys are doing over there? You see what you guys do to me when you make me read this shit? Control yourselves. The ...of my experience today. The debate over our experience as women in this is not, uh, shockingly, amongst men. Uh, none of you should care or listen to what any male streamer's take is on how we feel. I founded a nonprofit animal sanctuary at 22. I've raised over a million dollars for conservation at 24. I have created zero sexual content in my three years on Twitch. Despite this, my face was stolen so men could make me into a sexual object to use for themselves. If anyone doesn't think it's a big deal, that's my name in the headlines where thousands of people are commenting on the sexualization of my body against my will. You're the problem. This situation makes me feel disgusting, vulnerable, nauseous, violated, and all these feelings are far too familiar to me. This is not your debate. Stop acting like it is. Which might solicit some reactions from, like, guys watching, which is, which is not all men, not me. And, like, yeah, like, congrats. The bar was on the floor, but you weren't a weird fucking creeper. But you could also, like, understand that it's almost always a man. Like, the dude who made the site, a man. The dude who leaked the site and paid for it, a man. Everyone who probably from that leak paid for the site, also likely men. Like, like disproportionately to women a hundred times over. And I feel like it's okay to acknowledge that and, and use that information positively. And I want to okay. end uh, with this Medium article written by Josie, uh, which I thought was, was really poignant, uh, which said, Atrioc apologized for viewing the deepfakes, and maybe he was telling the truth when he said it was a one-off mistake. A rabbit hole he tripped and fell down. I don't know if that makes it better. Does it matter? Is morbid curiosity a valid excuse for violating the privacy? Violating the privacy? Of people you know? How many women were unknowingly used as feature models on the site? Does the apology make up for sending an army of men to stare at every single woman on the site? QD had a good analogy. Yeah, of course, he did not mean to send an army of men to this site. But you also don't mean to get into a car crash. That still doesn't mean that it's not a fucked up situation and that the pain from that car crash hurts. Ultimately, it's not really about Atrioc. He's just another man partake, uh, partaking in the problem. It's about men feeling entitled to every part of a woman online and the desire to consume so much that they are willing to rob women of their personhood. It's about the men who will defend him because they see nothing wrong with viewing women as solely vessels for their pleasure. It's worth reading all of that. I'll put it in the description. Uh, Thank you so much. Any more of the tweets from the women who, uh, who are streaming or who were on this website or who were a part of, of what happened here. I don't want to, like, be a defender of Atrioc, you know? Um, but he was a good guy. Not, that's not, that's not what I want.
want to do. But he was a good guy. Oh my like god. I, Is I he gonna do it? No shot. Maybe naively, as the guy who's been scammed for fifty thousand dollars, that he isn't like He's a shitty seedy person who's like secretly jacking off to my girlfriend. Like I don't I don't think that's that guy. Uh I think he fucked up. Uh but sometimes like that's enough. Like one fuck up is enough. Uh and and like I just I just hope from here he just takes all the steps and all the actions therapy you know, <laughs> to make it better. Have we gotten a tweet yet of I'm going to therapy for this guys? Please be patient with me. I'm in therapy for this. I need help. Like like that that, that there's some good that comes out of this because of the guilt the remorse he feels and how he views himself what's your take on actually making the point or distributing it is it okay because it's another buddy no i think it's probably not okay i don't think i think the deep fakes probably i think it's probably not okay that's where i'm at on it right now I, i'm like 50 i'm like 65 percent against it i think i could be argued in the other direction depending on the argument but I'm, right now i'm kind of i don't think it's okay it feels like it's not okay in in trying to show he is the man that that he thinks and maybe i believe is still in him um the man i know you can be own tweet about how um um uh, his apology on twitter uh how he's stepping down from off brand uh to take time offline and and to take these steps um you know time will tell uh and, and show the actions that he takes uh if they're fruitful if they're not um I'm not going to show it because really this is about the women. I I'm, I was just a vehicle for you to read all those tweets. There's the take. I feel like that's the only take to have. I don't know how you would have another one. So brave. But uh, but thanks for watching. This was weird. Hopefully I don't have to do this again and I can go back to talking about e-girl drama. Have a good one, guys.